Eight signs that Jake Paul's fights are rigged. Just now, Joe Rogan made it public that the fight between Jake and Woodley is fixed. You, like everyone else, are curious about what happened between Jake Paul and Woodley, and you want to find out what happened. If that's the case, you've come to the correct place. Today's video presents the only true perspective on the subject. You must be aware of Joe Rogan's recent declaration that Jake v. Woodley is rigged. Now, it's not only that fight, and now we know because we found the pattern in his fights. So Jake's fights are coming to an end. Stick around to understand this whole mess put himself into. We're all aware that Joe Rogan's has been particularly outspoken about the conflict in recent months. Tyron Woodley's boxing technique was brought up in conversation, and Joe stated that Woodley isn't recognized for throwing punches in the manner of a boxer. He unquestionably possesses the ability to launch massive bombs. Rogan continued by saying that Tyron Woodley is primarily the type of fighter who has been accustomed to boxing and MMA, but also has a tendency to employ everything else that is available to him in the sport of mixed martial arts arts, from takedowns to cliches. In addition, Rogan stated during an interview that, oh, he's going to face Tyron Woodley. However, although I am aware of his tremendous punching power, I cannot say that he punches in the manner of a boxer. He unleashes devastating bombs and sets his opponents up for takedowns. You know that he can knock anyone out with one shot, but the critical thing to remember is that he can unleash a bomb and then set up a takedown or clinch after that. This is not the kind of man that goes out there playing peekaboo while throwing punches to the body. That's not his style. He's never been a boxer. Instead, he is a mixed martial arts MMA fighter who uses boxing as one of his many fighting styles, but also uses everything else. Fans on social media have claimed to have found additional evidence suggesting that Jake Paul's knockout victory over Tyron Woodley was fixed. In their second bout, which took place on Saturday, Paul, 24, improved his record to 5-0 in the professional boxing circuit by knocking out Woodley, 39, in the sixth round with a hard punch. Woodley was a previous champion in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Not only that, in his fight against Anderson Silva, the Brazilian legend UFC champion, Champion. We could get clips from the fight from different angles where you could see Jake Paul's punches weren't hitting Silva, and mainly the last punch that was supposed to be the knockout, it didn't even touch Silva's face. Now, more specifically, if you're a fighter and practice every day, you probably know how to defend yourself from jabs and crosses. And watching Jake's fights, you could see how many, many times his opponent's letting the guard down, just so he could hit them. Look, I'm not hating on the guy. Letting your guard down the way those guys did when fighting Jake Paul is something that you learn in your first class on your first day. So yes, you may like Jake as an entertainment, but that is all he is. In Tampa, Florida, Paul, a former YouTuber, now a boxer, knocked out his opponent with a solid right hand. On the other hand, many people who frequent social media have claimed that the knockdown was faked. Paul was first accused of twisting his hand as a so-called signal to cause the knockout win, while Woodley was also charged with lowering his hands before the blow. However, both of these accusations were later proven to be false. One of the users on TikTok asserts that they have discussed discovered yet another signal between the combatants claiming that they saw them nod at each other in the final moments before the knockout. Despite this, a different perspective on the knockdown reveals that Paul's blow connected with full force, debunking the assertions that the fight was fixed. The current undisputed lightweight world champion, George Cambosos Jr., posted a video of the knockdown with the following caption, That was nasty. Paul quickly responded to the comment made by the Australian by tweeting, Just trying to be like you, champ. In his post-fight interviews, Paul has already started talking about his upcoming battle with many UFC competitors, including Conor McGregor. Paul has already moved his focus to his next fight. Paul responded by saying, I just knocked out a five-time UFC champion and disgraced your whole company. When he was asked if he had a message for Dana White, the president of the UFC, please, please allow me to get Kamaru Usman. Let me catch Nate Diaz. Let me get Jorge Masvidal. Let me capture McGregor because I'm going to shame them too the fighter pleaded. Let me get Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, and McGregor. Since then, Masvidal has responded to Paul in a video shared on social media. Masvidal was present at the Amelie Arena during the fight. You can't f***ing afford me, the other person said. You can't f***ing afford those other people you mentioned or me. Masvidal added, I am aware of your cost. You make lofty claims. You mentioned $50 million and $100 million. Bullshit. I'll let you in on a little secret. The reason I fight is either for money or to prove that I'm the best in the world. 
you fit within neither category. Jake Paul's massive fight payout was clearly revealed after his brutal knockout victory over Tyron Woodley. Following his knockout win over Tyron Woodley in their rematch on Saturday, Jake Paul banked a significant amount of money from the proceeds of his belt purse. After victories against notable boxers such as Anson Gibb, Nate Robinson, Ben Askren, and Anderson Silva, Paul's professional boxing record currently stands at 8-0. It has not been confirmed how much money was on the line for the first Paul vs. Woodley battle, but it is widely thought that the former UFC welterweight champion took home $2 million. The fight purse was not made public. According to sources, the YouTuber turned boxer reportedly made at least 3.77 million euro, $5 million, from the first match. According to the Manchester Evening News, both Paul and Woodley anticipated earning a comparable amount to the $5 million that the problem child made the first time around when it was released. Over £1 million was wagered on Saturday's rematch between Woodley and Paul. If Woodley had knocked out Paul, he would have been eligible for an additional bonus worth over half a million dollars. When Paul fought Woodley for the first time in August, the fight reached the distance for the first time, and the YouTube sensation ultimately prevailed with a victory by way of a split decision. However, the former Disney star was eliminated in the third round of their rematch after Woodley accidentally accidentally headbutted him. This led to the elimination of the former Disney star. Paul continued to fight despite the head injury and made his significant breakthrough in the sixth round after landing a powerful right hook that sent his opponent to the floor. The YouTuber, originally scheduled to battle Tommy Fury before their super fight fell through, has given hints that he may attempt to contend for the world title in the future. Rogan, a former welterweight champion of the UFC, has praised Woodley as one of the sport's all-time greats. Jake Paul, a YouTube sensation, and professional boxer stands out in the martial arts for his unique approach to the sport. But Joe Rogan is a great UFC commentator and a skilled martial artist, and he doesn't think he can beat Jake Paul in a boxing match.